Drive down any street with parking meters and it's likely you'll find a vehicle or two with parking tickets. In these tough economic times, municipalities and counties are looking for ways to get people to pay their parking fines, as well as other fines for violations like speeding tickets. I also think that there's a lot of people out there that may have a parking ticket that don't, uh, don't think they're, they will be collected if it's a small amount and they'll probably volunteer to just come in and take care of them. A bill under consideration by the legislature would put pressure on people to pay up. It calls for putting a hold on vehicle registration renewals if the person has outstanding or delinquent tickets, fines, assessments, or other debts owed to DPS, a municipality, or a county. If there is a fine on record, it would be impossible to buy a tag. Senate Bill 2207 takes a carrot and stick approach. The stick is withholding tags until fines are paid. The carrot is allowing people the convenience of paying those fines at a tag agent's office when they come in to renew. Tag agents also get a carrot in the form of a fee for being the debt collector. We ask people waiting for tags what they think of the measure. It sounds reasonable to me. I mean, you know, I don't know what implications it would have for people who get to work and stuff, but they, if you're speeding, you should pay your fines or doing anything else that you've gotten a fine for. That's what I think. If they're not allowed to get in to work, how are they supposed to pay those fines? Um, so it's kind of a catch-22 and putting the cart before the ox, but you know, I think in the long run people eventually get used to it and it'll just solve more problems, but for now it's probably going to be some trouble. It's kind of a dilemma, I mean I know people are having hard times now with financial situations and stuff like that, but I, you know, if you have parking tickets, you should pay them. Or if you have fines. The measure passed the House Appropriations and Budget Committee last week. It now goes on to a conference committee to reconcile differences with the Senate version. That's to make sure that holds won't be placed on renewals unless the person who owns the vehicle is the same person who got a speeding or parking ticket in it. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.